Well, probably the number one trend I wrote about in October in a piece that I called Undercurrent of Fear. And I tried to look at what were the big issues in electronic data discovery. Obviously, electronic data discovery is exploding. Sosha Gelman said it's a two billion industry now. It's going to, by 2009, when the new Yankee Stadium opens, be a four billion dollar industry. And 2010, when the Twins opens, will be even bigger. There are now, in 2002, when we first started doing EDD showcases, there were 52 vendors in that space. There are now, as of August, 600, so now we're in February, I'll bet it's more than 700. You know, the, the space is exploding. I think you're going to see three things. One is Thompson West, LexisNexis, and Walt, C.T. Walters Kluwer are going to continue to buy products. You're going to see more and more consolidation. You're going to see a ton of roadkill. If you don't have a good business plan, you're not going to make it. And there's a lot of, of I think, uh, let's put on a show vendors who go out there and think, oh, we're going to take over this market. The legal technology uh, uh, venue, uh, uh, field is full of landmines. And you have to do your homework and know what you're doing. And a lot of them won't survive. And third, there's a lot of niche products that will do very, very, very well. A classic niche product is Levitt and James. They do. For example, they have something called Best Authority. All it does is create table of, con of, of, of um, authorities. That's it. That's it. All it does. Those ones will thrive, I think, unless they get bought by you guys. So there's a huge trend. The idea of e-discovery is not new, but the fact that everybody is, is realizing that if they're not up to speed on it now, they, they need to be. So that's obviously going to continue to be the biggest trend of the year coming uh, ahead. The other big trend in e-discovery, too, one is a movement away from what I call the smoking gun, like uh, reactive, oh my god, we've got to find the document, to a movement towards what is people are calling litigation readiness, of being able to look and say, okay, we're going to get sued, particularly like, you know, say car manufacturers, they're going to get sued all the time. Having protocols in place so that you are incorporating um, uh, e-discovery as part of your routine cost of doing business. Well, one of the things I would like to see is whether you know, Vista is something that people are, are um, going to adopt or, or they're just going to keep shaking their fist and, and yelling no um, or just ignoring um, to see if, if that's something that, that people are going to be doing. Um, another thing is uh, how people are going to be dealing with um, the ability to broadcast their signal across the internet, which is a very big expense for a lot of firms. And, Honestly, there's not a whole lot of discussion and um, talk about it at the show, but it, it's a major expense. Um, how, how a firm is going to be covering this issue? I'm looking a lot at what's happening and how uh, some of the, the vendors are expanding the services that they're offering through the web as opposed to software. Yeah. You know, the big news outside of legal tech this week has been, uh, you know, Microsoft's bid to buy Yahoo, and, and I think that speaks a lot to where the future of technology is going. We're, we're moving away from desktop applications to uh, internet-based applications. Uh, you know, obvious examples of that are like Google Docs and Google Calendaring and that kind of stuff, but we're seeing that refined in a number of ways. And I think we're going to see a lot of that coming out this year. We're also seeing business intelligence, um, financial reporting, using competitive intelligence to analyze potential for um, of, of new business, client relationship management. You know, technology is not just electronic data discovery, as you well know. Research tools, search, and you guys, among other vendors, have made just tremendous strides, particularly in search. Another thing is, you know, the IT budgets. What, what's that going to look like? What are firms going to be doing in six months? I mean, obviously, that's something nobody's really talking about. Um, it's just going to have to be borne out. Uh, through the natural course of things, but you know, our enterprise solution is going to be something that people are going to be spending money on in 08. Um, I would tend to think probably not, but you know, that's, that's something that we'll have to wait and see. The other um, trend I would spot would be a very exciting one, called, which I call Greenlaw. And last year at this show, we launched a Greenlaw column, and this is about how the legal industry can use technology to create better work environments, save money, save profits, be more helpful, and also reduce their carbon footprint and be good, good citizens. And it's just absolutely amazing. We wrote a piece about Adobe, and Adobe managed by spending, they did a rehab of their 
corporate headquarters in San Jose. By using a $156 fan, they saved, I believe, if I remember the statistics, $25,000 a year in cost. There are things that we can do that aren't even expensive, and that's a myth that being green is expensive. You know, being, a, being somebody who's big on blogs, I, I, I think we're going to start to see blogs get a little more sophisticated and refined this year and become real uh, destinations for legal information. Um, and for keeping up with legal news, uh, they're, they're going to increase in depth, get more uh, uh, base to them, uh, more professionalism to them.